welcome back to Fact Friday, where we talk about the science behind why your body does what it does. I'm Dr. Rose, the Primal Professor, and today we're unpacking something that frustrates just about everyone who's ever tried to lose weight. Why your body fights back when you start to succeed. You're eating better, you're exercising more, and the scale starts to move until suddenly it doesn't. So what's going on? Did your metabolism suddenly break? Nope. It's just doing exactly what it's been designed to do. So let's talk about it. So your body isn't against you. It's actually protecting you. What you're experiencing is called metabolic adaptation, your body's built-in survival mechanism that evolved to help human beings survive famine. The problem, you're not in a famine anymore but your body doesn't know that. So when calories or carbs drop, your body sees it as a potential threat and it adjusts. Hormones shift, hunger ramps up, energy output drops, and your body becomes more efficient at holding on to that fuel, which is usually fat, right? And basically it says, we're not dying on my watch. So when you start losing fat, key hormones start to change and not in your favor. Leptin, the hormone that signals fuelness, it drops so you feel hungrier. Grenlin, your hunger hormone, it rises so food sounds better than ever. And then your thyroid hormones can decrease slightly, slowing down your metabolic rate. And if you're under stress or not eating, enough protein, cortisol goes up, and that pushes your body to conserve energy even more. The result, you're eating clean, but your metabolism is burning fewer calories than it did before. It's not broken, it's adaptive. So think of your metabolism like a thermostat. When you diet, your body turns down the heat to conserve fuel. You move less without even realizing it, and your body temperature can drop a little bit, and even your fidgeting decreases. This is your body's way of saying we need to stretch these resources. And when you think about it, it's really brilliant from an evolutionary standpoint, but terrible if your, your goal is fat loss. That's why the longer you stay in a calorie deficit, the more your body resists. It's trying to balance survival, not aesthetics. So how do you overcome it? You have to work with your biology, not against it. So you prioritize protein. It keeps your metabolism higher and it also prevents muscle loss. You lift weights or build muscle. Muscle tissue raises your resting metabolic rate meaning you're burning more calories just laying down doing nothing. Me uh, muscle is more metabolically expensive. You avoid chronic under eating. Being in a deep deficit for too long teaches your body to adapt downward. Cycle in refeeds or fasting breaks strategically to reset your leptin and your energy outputs. And you need to manage stress, chronically high cortisol, keeps your body in storage mode. And above all, be patient. Your metabolism is dynamic, not doomed. Give it consistency and enough nutrition to feel safe, and it will start cooperating again. So if you've been losing weight, hit a plateau and feel like your body's fighting you. Remember, it's not broken. It's just doing its job. But there's good news. Once you understand how it works, you can stop fighting it and start working with it. If you found this helpful, share it with a friend who keeps saying my metabolism is broken or it's genetic. And if you want to understand how to fuel your body smarter, not harder, grab my ebook, Keto Made Simple. It explains how to train your metabolism to burn fat efficiently for good. If you've been keto perhaps or carnivore for a long time and you've hit the stall and you need some one-on-one -on -one coaching, leave a comment, uh, reach out to me in the comments and we can set up a discovery call. This is Dr. Rose. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.